What? What is this? <laughs> She's so fast, she's so gross, she will never find love The only one who can love this woman is a good lord Of the vile amount of this egg She will never change, she will always do the same Thank and insane But then it's scary, you know carry Damn, I'm telling Hello little gherkins It's been a while and I'm sorry Frankly, I got a little burnt out after the bad lip reading. Mix that with just being busy and the skinny legend Rangers winning the World Series, it was time for a short break. But Big Belly Baron Bertha cried and got me interested again, so let's just get right into this mess. I'm sorry, I'm very emotional, I might cry. Yeah, I can't help it, like, I'm up at night, like, my husband's sleeping and I'm awake crying. And I just felt alone right now, so I thought I would go live and talk to you guys. It's like I don't like burden burdening the real people in my life, family and friends, even though they've said numerous times, you can talk to us, you can talk to us. I like to burden you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like not trying to be dramatic. And I'm going to smoke a menthol because I don't smoke cigarettes normally, but except when I'm really stressed out. I know it's bad for me and can kill me. I just I can't help it. Am I allowed to smoke? I don't even care. So we're crying. Smoking menthol Paul Malls like a southern mama, after her husband got caught in the trailer down the road with that bitch from the Dollar Gentral. We're off to a great start. Oh, why am I hurting? I don't know. Homesick? Um, no. Well, a little bit. I just feel weird. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, I miss my family. It's like I feel conflicted with my identity in a lot of ways. What triggered you? It's like I have, I have to be private about a lot of things, you know? Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. Um, I might go home for a while. Spoiler alert, she got fed and changed her mind. Got all of our hopes up for an exciting new season and ripped it away from us. It's nothing against Salah at all. Like, I love him so much. But sometimes I'm just like really conflicted and like within myself and like feel like I have it's like a me problem, like even though he assure, reassures me that he accepts me for how I am. Like, I feel like I have so much mental health problems, health problems, I just feel old and fat and barren. And like, I just want to live peacefully, not having those insecurities in a relationship. Like, I don't want to... Old, fat, and barren. Considering she claims to be so confident and not see any issues with her body and doesn't even want kids. To me, these sound like Salah's issues. I'm just saying. I don't want to have that. I want to just live, like, somewhere. It's like, I don't know if it's my mental illness, but I just want to, like, like be comfort comfortable in my home and play video games and just relax and, like, go live whenever I want to. I want to drive around on the long road sometimes. <laughs> It's just that sometimes it's hard not having the comforts or the crutches that I had in Canada, you know? You know my biggest takeaway from that? She's not comfortable in her own home. She can't do what she wants. She can't play video games or go live whenever she wants. Why not? She doesn't have kids or a job keeping her busy. YouTube is her job. The only thing that would prevent her from doing literally any of the things she mentioned inside her home would be Salah. Maybe Salah is more controlling than we think. Not being able to just go for a drive. Yeah. Or like, I know this is bad to say as a Muslim, but I do miss like the wheelchairs sometimes. Not wheelchairs, like, but... And I know it's bad for me and it's an addiction, so... The crutches, you know what I mean? Like, things that make life bearable. Homesick, you think so? But the thing is, it's like... Then I think about Canada. When I'm there, I miss, like, my cat here, I miss Harry, I miss Salah, I miss my, you know, home here, and things about Kuwait. Why is she acting like she's been back to Canada since she got Julia? She got Julia four months ago. She hasn't been back to Canada since she had Julia. She keeps talking like she's already done this before and missed her, but she hasn't. There's just, like, insecurities I have that when I think if I was alone, I have told Salah all this before. 
that I wouldn't have to worry about. Like, just me. Like my grandma that way, just me. Like she was always alone, I understand why. There's things I do very much dislike about Canada, yeah. But I don't know if it was Canada or if it was just my life there that I hated, you know? I'm like confused. Chantal can't comprehend that it's not Canada versus Kuwait. Maybe if you're miserable in both countries, you're the common denominator, and you need to make some changes within yourself. Are there things I dislike about Kuwait? Yeah, I wish I could drive around. I just feel very confused, you know? You're not bearing up so much more. The thing is, I don't want children. I know I don't, you know? <clears throat> There's no way I can have them. I'm a grandma already, and that's how I feel. Why is she even pretending to smoke these cigarettes? She's not inhaling. Goral, your teeth are in too bad of shape to do this and not even inhale the shit, just making your teeth and gums worse because you think you look cool. I like bringing all of my mental health problems onto Salah. He's normal. He's fucking normal. Nothing medically wrong with him. I can't drive here. I think you need an international. I, like, I thought you could drive with your... I'm not sure if you can drive with my, my license or... If you need an international license, but it's not safe. It's like really crazy to drive here alone, and I feel like betraying him talking about this online. I know. With us, I need to feel free to like express myself as well. I just feel like I have limited freedom in certain things. There's just things I can't talk, can't tell you guys out of respect and privacy. You know, obviously our relationship is not perfect, but I think a lot of it's a me problem too. Breaking news. Their relationship isn't perfect. Like, we couldn't tell that by the fact that you're sobbing online at 5 a.m. planning to flee back to Canada. That's why I'm just saying, like, you know, I respect Salah, I respect our privacy. But things that have to do with me, you know, and my sentiments, I feel like I've always talked about these things. I've always liked to be open, and I just don't feel like me not being that way, you know? And it contradicts who I am now, like, as like a Muslim woman. Like... We don't tip, they don't typically talk about their problems like that, you know? I just want to deal with some health things too, like, I don't know what's wrong with me, like, why am I so effing fucking stupid? Like, I don't care about myself or something, like, I know my blood pressure's high right now, I have a headache and I'm smoking, like, I don't even care. I have so many problems that, like, traditionally, I always compare myself to, like, another, like, traditional Muslim woman he would marry besides me. Like, I have so many problems that I've brought here. You know. You have not even been married for a full year. You're having insecurities about who you think your husband would prefer to be married to. That tells me you know he doesn't really love you. Don't put yourself down. Miss A, it's like normally I don't mind. Like normally I I'm okay with these things. But being in being married makes makes my insecurities come out. I feel like I have duties as a wife that I just don't can't I can't do all the time. Or do I even want to sometimes, you know? What duties? You have cooked like five times in 12 months. We know you don't really clean. You don't have kids. You don't have sex. What fucking duties? Yeah. He's accepted the entire package. Yeah, but like a part of me doesn't believe that. You know what I mean, Golden Girl? Like, part of me feels like he doesn't really know because we got married so fast. She knows deep down he doesn't love who she really is. This stream is very telling. I just like to be free to do whatever I want, whenever I want. I don't know if I was happier, it's like a different life. You know, it's like apples and oranges here in Canada. It's apples and oranges. Just free, like, you know, just to do whatever. Like, just go out and, like, go driving or not have to, like, just, if I just want to, like, go home, like, I don't know how to explain it. Just peace. Like, just, I don't know. It sounds to me like you're miserable in Kuwait, but you don't want to admit that everyone that warned you about what you'd be giving up to move to the Middle East and immediately marry a man you don't know were right. Yeah, maybe I just need a break. Maybe I'm just homesick. I don't know. But I think I'm going to go home for a while. I'm thinking of like getting an Airbnb because I like my privacy. You always have to be modest. Yeah. I hiccuped in public and everyone looked at me. It's it's such a different life, you know? And it's like, having grown up, well, you guys saw how I was. Oh my God. 
I can't even say, oh my god. <laughs> Isn't it funny how much she has insisted she loves Kuwait, and how superior it is to the West? And now, in one stream, we're finding out how much she absolutely hates it there. I'm convinced she's only still there to prove reaction channels wrong. I said the same with Bibi. Oh. I think it's a me problem, that's why, because sometimes I feel like I don't even have the like, relationships take work, right? They take compromise. I don't even sometimes have the mental energy for it. I feel protected with Salah, like he just handles everything in our lives. Like that's culturally what the men do. You know, they take over everything. <laughs> but me, I'm like used to being so independent. And I've said that and he's always like, Well, there's nothing you can't do here, but that's not true. <laughs> you know? Like it's not his fault culturally, that's how he's how he is. <sighs> If you have to say it's not his fault, it's his culture, about your husband's behavior towards you, that might be a sign. When I go back, yeah, I'm probably going to for a little while. People will say told you so, but yeah, I don't care about that really. I just don't know if I can picture like being without him for a while. Like I'll miss him, obviously I love him, you know? <sighs> I'm so messed up, like I just don't even know what I want. It's too, like, I just can't be with, around people. Yeah, Trixie, that's the thing. Western women are used to a certain lifestyle, you know? This isn't about Western women, though, and how they feel. It's about you. You are on here saying how much you miss your freedom. You want to do what you want, when you want. You are the one that is claiming your own personality clashes with the expectations of your new religion. This is what everyone has been saying since the day you slapped that hijab on your head. You are not a revert. You are wearing a hijab and pretending to be private and religious while deep down you hate it. Homesick bee, homesick bees. Yeah, I do miss my family blacks. And what if like World War III breaks out and I never get to see them again or something? Yeah, I'm very close. Look up Kuwait and look up Palestine. It's like this much mob space. But I couldn't leave. Like I feel like I have a family here now. Like I couldn't leave my pets in Salah here in a war. What a ridiculous statement. There are thousands dying around you right now, and you have the nerve to say you couldn't leave your husband during a war. Do you know how many of those people wish they could jump on a plane right now and go to Canada to escape what is happening? Do you know how many husbands and fathers would gladly put their wives and children on a plane to safety, knowing they may never see them again? And you're on here crying because you can't go take a drive whenever you want. You have a choice. Shut the fuck up. Do you get along with Muslim women? I mean, whenever we go camping or, like, sometimes if Salah goes to Diawaniya, which is like a hangout for men, I go and, like, I've gone a couple times to hang out with the wives. We communicate through Google Translate, and they're really lovely. They're so nice. But other than that, I haven't really talked to many, many, many people here. Yeah, I know. I just don't know what happiness is, I guess, maybe. Like, I feel happy and peaceful, but, like I said, I have those insecurities in a relationship, you know? I've talked to him about these things many times, yes. But I like to talk about it on my channel. Like, I feel like I've been holding in a big crap and i just, like, letting it out. What you are describing are not just insecurities. Sure, you feeling old, fat, and barren, and knowing your husband would rather be married to a traditional Muslim woman are insecurities. But you're also giving us reason after reason why you're not happy in Kuwait and in your marriage. You can try to pretend these are just insecurities, but you're proving that you are miserable and can't stand the life you're living. You're bored. You're unfulfilled. And you're staying just so the internet doesn't say I told you so. Love that for you. Yeah, I was depressed before I came here. Nothing just follows you. And... I feel inadequate, like, as a Muslim woman. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Like, if I go back to Canada, I feel like I would want to, like, medicate again. And how can I do that wearing a hijab? You know? I feel horrible. <sighs> like, when I was in Canada and I was alone, I, hate, I didn't like it. I felt sad and lonely. Like, I'm gonna die alone. Now I have a loving husband. And what the heck is wrong with me, you know? <sighs> you feel that way because you're in a loveless marriage. It's not that hard to figure out, Goral. If he was sent to fight, I don't think he would be living here. If that happened, I would freak out. One of the women we went to camp with was showing me pictures of her deceased brother from the war in Syria. I was like, oh my god, so sad.
Oh my god. So sad. Did you know I can't drive around whenever I want to and get high and play video games? That's what you sound like. Pathetic. No, we didn't break up. We're not getting divorced or anything like this. I'm just, I think I need to go back home for a while. I kind of want to go like next week, maybe, I don't know. It's not the end. Kuwait is boring. It's not Kuwait that's boring, it's... Domestic life is a little bit, but everyone has domestic life, right? Domestic life isn't boring when you're happy with your partner and family. Go home before you can't get out of here. That's a scary thought. Stay-at-home wife duties make life harder and boring. <laughs> it's okay if that's what you want in your life, you know, but... I don't mind it sometimes. It's just... Yeah, it's kind of the same thing every day. Wake up. What am I gonna cook? Take it out of the freezer. Poor Chantal. She has to plan dinner twice a year and that makes her unhappy. I was trying to explain that to Salah, like... Here it's obviously taboo and against Islam and I get the reason for that because... You know, it, it alters your mind and it just makes you, you know... But in Canada, it's like cannabis culture, it's like it... It... <sighs> um... What, what's this in this? It, um, it's like medicine there, you know? It's like when, I, when I'm here, after a while, I miss it. Because this is the longest stint I haven't been in Canada. I usually would go every three months or something, right? But then when I go to Canada, I miss here. So it's weird. Did I miss something? Either she secretly went back to Canada and didn't show it, or she's delusional. She's been in Kuwait for one year. She's been back to Canada one time. She's telling on herself right now. I know there's a lot of people who want to see me fail, born villain, but it's not like I don't want to fail. It's... I'm just... I think I just need to see my family or something. I don't know. Oh no, Robin, I'm not letting people dictate my choice. This is fully of my free will. <laughs> you know, there maybe have been times where it's it maybe influenced some decisions, but not not anymore. I I just do whatever. You know. I'm just happily married is bored with domestic life. I was good. <laughs> Pretty much. She may not go back to Canada right now, but by her own admission, she hates it there, and she's bored. She will go back one day, and I think when she does, she won't come back to Kuwait. Yeah, exactly optimistic, Ryan. I feel a little subdued, and it's not my personality, you know? Like... I miss doing a lot of things about... A lot of things that I feel like are my personality that conflict with like my Muslim modest behaviors. <laughs> so I'm just conflicted as a person, you know? You can only pretend for so long, Chantal. You are conflicted as a person because you know this isn't who you are or who you want to be. You're suppressing your true self to make a man happy. That's never going to end well. I don't know, Louise. I think I'm gonna go make some aloo tiki in the air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have breakdowns like this, even. I have to be able to have a breakdown if I want to. I do talk to- I mean, like, I told him to be, like, private about us chatting here and there. <clears throat> but I do, like, we do talk on WhatsApp once in a while, Pete's and I. Muslim women are typically not allowed to, you know, have male friends, but... Pete's, it's a bit different. I, you know, explained that to Salah when we got married, like, he's been my friend for a long time. Well, that's weird, because Pete's literally just admitted you two don't speak anymore. Uber Eats at 2am. I can't order Uber Eats by myself, the phone number is so long, so if I order it, we'll wake him up. <laughs> Will you guys wait while I microwave some cheese? cheese recipe, I just ate the cheese. Oh. Mortadella sandwich, olives, and more juice boxes. Yeah, Salah has a kid as me. The face on the juice. 
It is 3 or 4 a.m., and Chantal is eating a sandwich with half a pound of meat, half a jar of olives, a soup bowl filled with melted cheese, and multiple Capri Suns. You're doing great, sweetie. Miss Robbins, I know. I do tell him how I feel. I told him I'm probably going to uh, go home. And before we went to bed, I said I'll think about it. Ow. And if I want to, he'll book it for me. He's understanding, actually. Merry Christmas reaction channels. <laughs> Thanks, Baron Bertha. We appreciate it. The thing is, <clears throat> Sola's worried about me driving by myself here because it's not like Canada. Sorry. I can't imagine why she would feel insecure in her marriage. What man doesn't want a wife that slurps up melted cheese in the middle of the night and has grease dripping down her face, that she wipes on her clothes that she's too lazy to wash? Oh, Rosemary, I don't know. I just homesick a bit, I guess. Just need a good bees. <laughs> Golden girl. I know you. I know what you mean. I'm not gonna. I'll just show up one day in Canada and be like, hi, I'm the Kia. <laughs> I was listening to it. Is that a thread or my hair? <gasps> oh my god. I'm gonna be. I'm so sorry. I thought it was a thread. Uh... <sighs> Just trying to eat in peace. And the heat jump throws me under the bus. Oh, Sala gonna be mad, Goral. It's hard to be somewhere where you can't be yourself. Sometimes, yeah. But sometimes I'm, I don't know what myself is. I thought. I think I'm being myself. I'm just. More private, more subdued, but maybe subdued is not my personality, and it makes me miserable. Y'all remember that line for here shortly. She said she is miserable. We didn't say that. She said that. Just keep that in the back of your little gherkin brains. But what kind of man wants to be with someone like who's, who's, who's gross, always farting, and nobody. Nobody wants a partner, especially not in the Middle East. So... Yeah, teardrop. No, he's not out. I would never let my man go out in the middle of the night. No. I'm a very jealous person. And I can be controlling, too. But I'm not really, like... Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna let my husband out in the middle of the night. Who does that? And if they say they're going out anyway, okay, well, you can go out, but you are not going to be with me. <laughs> Girl, I have a full breakdown video catching him speaking in at 2 a.m. when you were live. He goes out. And you hate it. They don't have you... That was the elevator alarm. Why did you act like you just got caught in the act when you heard that elevator alarm? Is Salah asleep or out in the middle of the night? You can balance between current and past. That's what I try to do, you know? But, um... There's just certain things I can't do here that I could do in Canada. Are they really worth? Are they really that big of a deal? That's what I always, uh, I always say no, you know? I don't know. We'll see. I'm chaotic, like I, I'm impulsive, and I really want to think things through. <clears throat> Is, who can sleep? Salah can sleep through that. He sleeps through anything. Me going live and talking about things I probably shouldn't be. And smoking, I shouldn't be doing that either. I don't like the word, shouldn't be doing. That's the problem. If I want to smoke a cigarette, I'll smoke a freaking cigarette. If I want to freaking do something, I'll do it. Sounds to me like you're being controlled and you don't like it. Am I the only one that feels like that's what this is all about? She's tired of Salah controlling every aspect of her life down to what and when she can order food, where she can go, and even playing video games in her own home. He does care if I wear the hijab. He would never want me to take it off. He freaks out if there's a hair showing, so that's not true. <laughs> I know you guys miss me in Canada, I know. I mean, I have to live my life for myself, though, you know? But... I mean, you guys are right about some things. I do miss certain things. I'm a little homesick for certain things. And I don't know if it's just me. Oh my god. I better get off of here. Thanks, Gemini. It's 
like I feel alone because I feel like what I, the problems, internal problems I'm having, nobody can help me with. He can't help me with them. I can't keep making lives everywhere and abandoning them, you know? I feel like a piece of shit for that. If you're only talking about going back to Canada to visit because you're homesick, how is that making a life somewhere and abandoning it? Plenty of people take trips to visit family without their partners at times. Sounds like you were considering going back to Canada permanently. Anyway, the next morning we got a mukbang with a side of gaslighting. Apparently we are all just crazy to think she's unhappy, and we all just make things up because of our wishful thinking. I have a lot to talk about. I don't feel like it because I just don't. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm just like, oh, sleepy, that's all. So yesterday, I did a live stream talking about my feelings, opening up a bit, which I haven't done in a while. I, today I'm feeling a bit different. I think I was having a bout of homesickness, which does happen sometimes. I just never really talk about it. When it comes down to everything, like when I consider everything, the situation, yes, I'm from Canada, born and raised there. And I know a lot of people from there, my audience is from Canada, US, Europe, the Western world, Australia. And a lot of you can't fathom how I could be happy here as a Muslim. This has nothing to do with what we can or cannot fathom. You fucking said it. You came live and went on and on about how much you missed your independence and freedom, wheelchairs, driving the long road, how you were miserable. Remember you said that, and now somehow it's her audience just not understanding how she can be happy as a Muslim in the Middle East? Goral, that's some gaslighting if I've ever seen it. And I explained some things that I missed, certain freedoms, I miss my family. But overall, for me, home is where my heart is. My heart is with Salah. I love him a lot. He loves me. I'm being sincere that I'm not miserable here, you know. This dude is not my personality, and it makes me miserable. I'm the type of person that if I was, I would just go back, like, you know, easily. Not easily. But, easy enough. I know, he's always said, if you ever really need to go back and see your family, I'll book you a flight. Why does it have to be if you really need to go see your family? Why not if you just want to? Why does he have to be the one to book you a flight? You can't book your own flight? Sounds a lot like having to ask permission to see your own family. And I know people think, oh, well, he can't do that. He can't financially support you. I don't know why people think that. That's just your prejudice. Prejudice is pre-judging someone. People assume Salah cannot support you based on what they see. Most cannot understand how he could run a business successfully while never actually working. He's always at home with you, and even went to Thailand for six weeks. It just doesn't seem likely that a business owner would have so much free time. I have that knowledge and security that I can go. It's not that I'm stuck here, you know. I do, like, I'm, I was assessing my, my situation because sometimes I'm very conflicted with what I really want. I doubt myself. I have insecurities that I talked about in my live stream. And even now, I don't even really know what I'm talking about. But basically... When I weigh everything, and that's why I'm tired, I stay awake thinking about these things. When I weigh everything, sorry, you need mayonnaise. Oh, I have a bobo. <laughs> Thought I would let you know that. Whenever I consider everything, I am happier overall here than I was in Canada. And it's so strange for, for me to hear people say, you were happier in Canada, which makes me realize like, people really don't know how I was feeling internally you know maybe I didn't express that I'm not feeling the greatest because I'm not you know doing much to improve my situation health-wise and that you can't escape from but people don't seem to remember how people think I'm more unhealthy and eat more here that's not true my highest weight was in Canada I was 402 pounds at the hospital. My blood sugar was 17. It's now like 6. The last time I weighed myself here, I wasn't 400. You know, maybe 370. It's been averaging out. I was in the ER all the time. Blood clogs. No. Oh. I wasn't healthier. Well, that's a lot to unpack. 
People said you were happier in Canada because you actually laughed and seemed to enjoy life. We didn't like your life and you put yourself in some shitty situations, but you were more yourself in Canada, which you admit in your live stream. You are a subdued version of yourself in Kuwait, which makes you, by your own admission, miserable. Also, girl, you can say you haven't gained weight since Canada and were more healthy then, but we can see you. I'm just driving, but that I can deal with. I have a chauffeur. Most of the time, I isolate myself with my mental illness. And a lot of the time, I don't want to go anywhere. So we didn't break up. We're not getting a divorce. I was just thinking of going back to Canada temporarily for a visit to see, get rid of that homesickness feeling. But I really think I would be more homesick for here if I went there. The more I'm here, the more this starts to feel like home. And again, when I was in Thailand, I felt at home because I was with Salah, you know? So, like moving, like completely moving to another country, you know, it's kind of a big culture shock sometimes. But that over time has gotten pretty, it's, it's become pretty normal, but I mean, yeah, of course sometimes I miss some of the, the comforts I had in Canada, but a lot of those things were not healthy for me, you know? I should be able to function normally and happily without being high. Like, you know, and addiction is, is a very big for me. And I, I think a part of me doesn't want to go back to Canada for that reason. I don't want to fall back into addictions uh, that I don't have access to here. You know, drugs, alcohol, um, ordering three, four times a day. I don't know, like just whenever I want, you know, just being very frivolous and not good with money. I just don't trust myself right now. And believe it or not, Salah really, um, He's very active in trying to make a really good future for us as well. So I'm learning a lot from him that way. Um, having to be more frugal because we're not rich, but we're not poor. We're not, you know, we're, we're, we're doing well, but we're not rich. And, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm grateful for everything I have. And I, I know people were like, your channel will do so much better in Canada. Well, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not going to do anything like that just for money, you know? That's just so inauthentic and just money is just not a good reason to do things that you have in your heart that you want to do, you know, or to not do them because of money. Um, my heart is with Salah. We're very much in love and married despite what people think. I, I mean, I don't know where people believe all these weird theories that people come up with about us when there's zero proof, you know, but it's none of us true. And... We love each other and I hopefully can spend the rest of my life with him and um, I just think the Middle East is the best right now for me like to recover from addiction, to recover financially. Um, no matter where I am, I can have access to certain things. Um, That's a lot of words to just say I'm impulsive and went live to share how miserable I am in Kuwait and want to leave. But now I am backtracking so everyone thinks my relationship is perfect and I'm happy. Anyway. That's that. I don't know what else to say. Maybe I'll be able to better articulate it when I'm less tired. I was up all night until about noon. And I just felt gross and, like, tired and just tired of thinking, you know. And I saw my cat coming beside me and cuddling up to me. And then Salah watching him sleep. And I was like, I can't leave my family, you know, even for a bit. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes being very, very far from your homeland is weird too, you know? So I just have these mixed feeling moments and I think they're normal. I think it's normal for anyone to go through that in my situation. And a lot of you have left comments that you've been in that situation or it's normal and, you know, you understand. Um, a lot of people were saying it's obvious you're not happy. I don't know how it's obvious. I mean, if you compare my time in Canada, I was crying all the time. Here, I've maybe cried once, <laughs> you know? Um, not crying does not equal happiness. You were sad because a crackhead picked a linebacker over you. You were sad about that relationship. Salak doesn't make you sad in that way, but that doesn't mean you're happy either. And this isn't me assuming and telling you that you're unhappy. This is going by your own words from your live stream. You can't be happy all the time anywhere in the world, you know? Uh, but if you look at quality of life, yeah, I would say it's better here for sure. Yeah. Quality of life? Are we talking about the state of your home or your health? Because, girl, you breathe like someone that just ran five miles when standing still. 
I'm not shut in all the time. I can go out whenever I want. I just have to ask a lot. I choose to isolate sometimes because my mental health is not good. And anyone can look up, you know, symptoms of depression, mental illness, that's normal. But we do go out. I just don't always film because it's... <sighs> sometimes you just want to do things without worrying about what to film, what angle, you know, all those kind of things. So, and depending if you go somewhere busy, like I just, I haven't been feeling it. But I, I, I will get back to it because I do like doing vlogs, but sometimes I just don't feel it, you know, especially lately. <laughs> So, um, it's also hard to like talk about a lot of my feelings surrounding things in my life I can't talk to you about, like not bad things, just personal life things that I want to keep secret and I think that's actually very beneficial for me. I've said that a million of times, you know, but I want to thank everyone for being there and listening to me. Um, it just made me realize like with the amount of people, there's a lot of people that were there just like for drama and like already trying to like skew what I'm saying and make assumptions about how I'm feeling. And there's a lot of people that were there for support and love and that means a lot to me like i think people think well you shouldn't be talking on the internet no i mean there's no there's nothing wrong with that in my opinion talking to people who care about you um you know like whatever so anyways i guess that's about it that's how i'm feeling i'm not sure what i'm gonna do but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be just staying put and doing something else i don't know canada for the holidays I don't celebrate Christmas anymore and I hate the snow and the winter so I don't know we'll have to see anyways you guys will find out eventually what I end up doing where I end up going if, if anywhere but uh, we're not getting a divorce we're not um, splitting up and that's for sure that was never a case you know I don't know how people confuse just having a bit of homesickness and my insecurities in the relationship to us getting a divorce <laughs> but I guess people have wishful thinking. I don't know why people would wish that for their own entertainment. Um, it's kind of odd, but it is what it is, I guess. As I was getting ready to close this out, I saw this comment under her video, and it is absolutely accurate, and had to sting like hell when Chantal read it. This has the same vibe as when Nads made you lie on camera to make him look better. At least Nads actually touched you, though. Must hurt. You made your bed, Chantal. Damn. There's nothing else to say. That's exactly what this video felt like, and it's ridiculous that she's pretending everyone is just speculating on how she feels when she literally said it less than 24 hours before this video. I'll see you later, little gherkins. Pathetic. She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only one who can love this woman is a good lord.